Hello you beautiful souls, welcome here, thank you very much for coming to my channel, for watching my videos, for all of your kindness, your support, your love and your beautiful comments. I'm very very grateful to all of you, thank you. Um, today we have a love reading and this one is about your person's feelings in regards to you. I've got three positive cards for you to choose from, I've answered the picture of the piles in a second. As always, take your time, listen to intuition, you can say the name of your person out loud or in your mind to connect to them better, and then choose a pile that attracts you the most. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Hello my beautiful pile number one, or everyone who chose the turquoise stone, turquoise heart. Let's see. What are your person's feelings towards you? How do they feel about you? And we've got the Seven of Cups. Fortune. The Lovers. Misfortune. The Moon. And Widower. This person feels to me feels very unstable to me, very emotionally unbalanced. There is a lot of worry, anxiety, confusion, a foggy mind, a very confused mind. First of all, it's it seems like they really struggle to make decisions in life, to decide what it is that's good for them, to to make a decision and stick to it. It's almost like they are constantly torn. Gemini energy is coming through very, very strongly. I don't know why, maybe like a prominent, the ascendant or moon, also Cancer, uh, Pisces I'm feeling here. It's just like it, the whole life feels to me like a fog. The mind is a fog. Let's start from the beginning. Mm, the past energy, how did they feel about you? I feel like they were very excited very excited about you, very intrigued, very... They saw that there is something there in you that could be valuable for them, that could be interesting for them. But at the same time, it's almost like this person wants to have it all. It's like... How do I explain it? Inability to choose and stick to their choice. It's almost like, well, if I f focus just on this connection, on this person, I might miss out on money. I might miss out on maybe other connections. I'm not so strongly feeling that this person is a cheetah or whatever. It's just the, the attention is very dispersed. It's very like, what's next? What's next? I'm so excited. That opportunity and that opportunity and I want to I wanna try everything. I want to feel everything and I, it's almost like not being able to distinguish what's good for you, what's not. What, what's worth it what's worth of your time, your um, investment of your energy and what's going to last and what's just a distraction. I don't know, they just feel like a fog to me. I'm feeling a little bit dizzy even reading the energy. It's like with the Seven of Cups, the moon. Are they drinking? Or maybe there's just some substances or just their personality, very unstable, almost like there is no clarity. This is what I want, this is how I feel, this is what's right for me, This is my, these are my morals, these are my principles. With them, it's totally the opposite. It's like, well, I'll try anything, I'm up for anything. And in regards to how they felt about you, there's a lot of confusion. They saw that there is something, that you're a valuable person, that you are interesting, that you make them feel almost like intoxicated. I feel like there was a lot of passion here. There is still a strong lust and strong infatuation, but their mind, I don't feel good about it. It's either their mind or just patterns, how they used to live, how, what, what they've learned. It's almost like they were distracted. They were distracted by something. It's like a blind blindly following some sort of illusion, some sort of seduction, 
uh, temptation in life. And it's going to be different for all of you who chose this reading. It could be money for some of you, for your person, something that was more taking them away in a way somehow. Could be money, could be just, could be fame, could be mm, just some sort of comfort, could be even alcohol for some of, for some of them. Just something that's not, their mind is very unstable, it's almost like, how do I describe it? Almost like they could not settle, they could not settle and come down and be thankful and stop striving. It's not a bad thing, but for some reason I feel like this person was striving for something that they don't really need. And they will realize it soon. They will. Mm. What's going on now? A lot of desire for you. I'm sensing that this person is like on fire for you. It's incredible passion. Uh, everything about you is just so irresistible for them. So much pleasure, so much desire. It's like, this is what I want. This is my person. I feel like I want to smell them. I want to touch them. I want to experience them. Definitely strong, deep romantic feelings here. And strong physical attraction. I feel like you have a wonderful chemistry. No doubt. Wonderful chemistry. But for some reason, it feels like it's all going down. Regardless of how you feel about each other, it feels like it's slowly but surely getting... Almost like this connection is on fire now. And that is why there is such a strong um, physical attraction. But soon it's going to burn down. There will be just ashes. And you feel it. Maybe you already know it. They feel it for sure. This connection feels like a booze <laughs> for me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like being drunk on love. Being in so much infatuation. So much um, intoxicating of that mm, alluring energy about it. And this person cannot be clear in their mind when they're with you or when they think about you. It's almost like they become um, a little bit unstable. And inability to make a decision, I feel like that's like their Achilles heel. It's something that they have been struggling with their whole life, I feel. Uh, it's almost like, I want to have it all. How? How can I have it all? And eventually they don't have anything by applying this logic, applying this tactics. You've got to choose something and you stick to it and you work on it and you build on it, build it together with another person. Wow. Future energies. This is a classic case, how I'm feeling about this connection, this is a classic case of those intense connections that just affect your whole literally organism affect your mind affect um, you forget <laughs> you forget about the outside world you forget about practicalities of life almost like overwhelmed in this crazy mm, you know what i mean very intense very intense connection future energies <sighs> there is a lot of fear here about the future in this person they know, they know that they're about to lose you or that this is not going to a good place, this connection. But instead of acting and doing something about it and changing their ways and finding a solution, they're drowning in their fears, they're drowning in their worries. Uh, this future seems very unstable, uncertain and quite dark. And this person is just indulging in that. It's almost like, poor me, a little bit of a victim playing here. With this moon, again, that feeling of being drowned deeply with your emotions, but it's all about, it's not, there's no clarity. 
it's darkness, it's uncertainty, it's... And with the widow, I feel like they're already subconsciously feeling that this is it. This is the end. There is not much um, happiness. Again, if this reading doesn't resonate with you, as I always say, please don't watch it. If this is not your story, that's completely fine. Uh, please choose another pile or another video or another reading altogether. So, yeah, I just had to put it in there. Because I always see quite literal, like, stories. Yeah, definitely kind of starting to see the ending, starting to see the beginning of an end here for this person. And there's a lot of fear, a lot of, almost like they're afraid. They're afraid to accept that they might have lost you, that this might be the end of this connection, that um, you must probably part ways. Hmm. Let's look at the bottom of your deck, pile one. Look at this, four of pentacles. That's what I'm feeling, they're holding on to something for no reason at all. They've, they've got their own reasons. But in the bigger scheme of things, future and how valuable you are to them, it's almost like they cannot shift their focus to save their life. Focus on you, because they're holding on to whatever it is, money, some sort of stability in their life, some, I cannot move just yet, or maybe I need to accumulate money, maybe I need to stay in whatever situation, I don't know, living situation they've got. There is this greedy energy about them. I want to have it all. The, the feeling I was getting with the Seven of Cups, I want to have it all. It's like that a kid in a candy store. I want to try everything. How can I miss out on that candy and this jelly and this whatever cake? That's what they feel like to me. Mm. Let's look at your oracle cards, pile one. Yeah, interesting. So the, the first card we've got here is a leg up. It's a beautiful card, a beautiful energy of support, of help, of um, bringing someone up, encouraging them, supporting them, inspiring them, uplifting them. I feel like this is who you were for this person in this connection, like a, almost like a mother figure, a huge support, a bi big cheerleader for them. Maybe you inspired them to achieve something, so they got so excited. Maybe you help them to make decisions in life because I feel like that's something they're struggling with. Even like the simplest things, choosing a dish in the restaurant, I feel like this person would struggle with that. Well, I want to try everything. How can I? If I choose this dish, I'm going to miss out on those interesting combinations and I have no idea. I'll just rather starve. <laughs> that's what they feel like to me. I feel like you've been a huge help for them on some sort of, on a little bit of the of your path together you help them a lot give them this feeling of comfort safety support like a, the biggest the best friend then we've got this card angel of strength very similar to the strength card in traditional tarot you see there is so much passion here there is so much excitement instinctual pull almost infatuation and i feel like this person is trying to hold um, to have a control over themselves, to not go into this fully, to be like um, almost, yeah, to not give power to all of their instincts, like n for them to not overpower them, overwhelm them, trying to resist basically. But then it's like back and forth, back and forth, it's very difficult dynamic here. I feel like they could be also sacrificing something for the sake of another thing. But then getting disappointed in that thing, coming back to you or your connection. And it's just, uh, again, something about making decisions and standing for them, like protecting them. Then we've got this card, Unrequited Love. 
and it says there is not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. F to be honest, I feel like that's how they feel about you. Because they're slowly but surely coming to this almost state of panic. The future doesn't seem too good here. I'm losing touch with this person. I'm losing them. Regardless of how passionate I feel for them, I feel like this connection is on fire. In a good way, but in a bad way as well. Almost like there's a lot of fear here, anxiety here, that the, we won't survive, basically, that this won't last. Not enough chemistry or attraction. And I feel like chemistry and attraction is everything that this person is basing any connection on, like the main um, factor for them. The rest is just inessential. In if I want someone, then we are good. And I, I don't know. And they definitely want you. There is a lot of passion here. We also got this card, Sacral Chakra. Very similar energy. It's the energy where the passion, the chakra where the passion is born, where um, there is this excitement for life, fire. Uh, that's where our manifestations are born, our desires in life. I feel like that's a lot of red color is present. Looking at your cards, red color, orange color, yellow, all of those warm, passionate uh, energies. Why is my nose so itchy? Oh my god. That your whole reading, I cannot even stop. And you know, oh, this is funny. In Russia, uh, we have this belief that if your nose is itchy, then you're gonna get drunk this evening. <laughs> it's like a sign. Well, it's just a superstition. Like, if your nose gets red or itchy, that means you're going to have a hangover tomorrow morning. You're gonna get really drunk. Well, Russians, you know. <laughs> Again, that feeling of being drunk somehow on this connection, maybe again, for some of you, this person might be drinking a little bit more than they, than average. Even my strange body reactions are showing it. So yeah, definitely strong passion. And then look, th look at this, we've got this guy denial. It's almost like this person is just blindfolded by something that they want, something there is this distraction in them. They cannot fully go into this connection. They cannot... Uh, what am I feeling? Is this somehow connected to the Seven of Cups. That's... Denying like the ordinary, the simple, the wholesome in search for something exciting. That's what I'm feeling about this person. I don't know why. Exciting conversations, maybe exciting sex. Whatever it is with them, I don't feel like they're just someone who's solid, stable. I'm being really radical right now, but I'm just... I don't like being wishy-washy and sugar-coating. That's what I'm feeling, so that's how I'm explaining them. Yeah. Interesting, interesting personality. Then we've got this card, New Moon and Gemini, and it says communication is key. And another indication of Gemini, because the lover's card is also Gemini. Communication is key for sure, and I feel like it's not really going too well here. I feel like this person might want to communicate with you. They may have a... Um, I feel like it's fear that's pushing them at the moment. Fear and worry about the future and sadness. It's like, I'm so afraid. What's happening here? What's happening between us? That could be the motivation for them to reach out to get in touch with you. And then we've got this card retreat. Yeah. Again, there is this feeling of them needing to find their balance for once, find their peace, find their comfort, find their clarity, quiet, quiet their mind. Because what's coming for them with this moon and widower, it's a very heavy emotional state. It feels like a depression for me. It feels like this um, dissatisfaction about life, sadness, disappointment and worry, anxiety, not being able to sleep, not being able to focus. Mm. Let's get some more cards. Well, one. How does your person feel about you? Got two cards that fell out. 
And the first one we've got here is perception. And it says beyond the veil of illusion. Again, there is just something that's slowly but surely opening up their eyes. I was feeling like they're blindfolded this whole reading, like they're either very distracted by all of the temptations around them, by their desires, their whatever it is that they want. Like they cannot see things clearly at all. That's why they cannot make a decision. And I feel like now slowly but surely they are opening that veil and starting to see that things are not so good. Almost like they've neglected this connection or didn't make a choice at a certain point. That's why they've got to face a loss at the moment. And then another card that flew out here is Sacred Earth Mother. And it says a message of love. Yeah, and we had communication is key here as well. Possibly that this person would love to reach out to you, would love to make things better, to find some sort of resolution. But I'm sensing a lot of fear in them, so it depends on them whether they overcome this fear and anxiety and like this greedy state and depression or not. Or they sulk in it and indulge and feel like I'm, I'm the one, uh, like the victim and feeling sorry for themselves. Let's get some more cards. Let's get from this one, this deck. Pile one, how does your person feel about you right now? How does your person feel about you? We've got a very steamy card. I'm not surprised at all looking at your cards and at the energy I was feeling. So much passion here, wonderful physical connection, physical chemistry, compatibility. And the name of this card is Sexual Union. It says, the name of this card, this card is Sexual Union. Honor the place in one another where you, where you are one eternal soul, for there you will find true bliss. Yeah, I feel like for this person, maybe they've never met anybody for whom they had the same level of desire, the same kind of, oh, I just want to be with them all the time, to experience them, to feel them. A very sexually charged connection for this person. Let's look at the bottom of this deck, if I can find the bottom, because it's all tricky. And we've got this card, Secret Admirer. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they're letting on. Yeah, interesting. I do feel like this person is not giving you much clarity or much, almost like this is it, this is where we are headed, or this, going, this is what's going to happen next year, and then I've got a plan to build a family or whatever it is. This person is literally like, like a secret admirer that's lingering on the periphery of your life somehow. Mm. Do we have any more cards? I think that's it. I've used all of them. So this is all I have for you, Pile 1. I hope this reading was helpful. I hope it gave you the clarity you were looking for. And I wish you lots of happiness and lots of love for yourself and for others. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Hello, my beautiful Pile number 2, or everyone who chose the Rose Quartz Tone. Let's see, what are your person's feelings toward you? And we've got the Fool, Merchant, Ten of Pentacles, Conversation, The Emperor, and Wife. <laughs> Pile 2. I feel like in the beginning of your connection, when you just met, when all of this was starting, initiating, this person was not looking for something serious. They were not focused on finding someone that they would end up with, build a family, no. They just wanted to have fun. They just wanted to experience something new, something fresh, something excited, uh, exciting. They wanted to be lighthearted and have fun, basically. Almost like to test the waters, test the, well, it's a strange explanation, um, to see what's possible for them. 
uh, on the love front, I would say. So yeah, I'm feeling like you, you gave them this feeling of lightness, of this happiness, of this joy, of this very fresh energy, like someone who is like a breath of fresh air, something very inspiring. You felt like a kid again with you. Also, for some reason, I don't know why, but I'm getting this imagery of distance or either travel or some different backgrounds, different nationalities. Um, it could be the case for for some of you. It's either you, you met somewhere where one of you was not local or maybe you, you are literally from different races or there's just some sort of distance somehow here in the picture. But yeah, it felt like a new beginning for this person, exciting new beginning, this connection. What's happening now? Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm missing some chunk of history between the two of you. But it looks very serious at the moment, you guys. There is this feeling of wanting to talk about the real, um, the future, wanting to build this future, wanting to build a family with you. It's almost like this person wants to discuss it with you for some reason, want to talk with you about it. Like, I've realized that you're my 10 out of 10. I realized that I can build a future with you. I want to grow old with you. I feel like you enrich my life in so many ways. We can build this beautiful home, this dynasty, this uh, have kids possibly. And it's like they cannot contain themselves. They want to talk about it. They want to express this to you. It's almost like they're certain now. In the past, they were just a kid enjoying the journey. Now, somehow, I don't know what happened, you guys. Such a drastic change from the Fool to the Ten of Pentacles. This is my person. I have no reservations, no doubts here. The only thing is to talk them into this, almost like that's what they want to do with you. Talk you into um, getting at least in a committed relationship and at most getting married, building a home, uh, settling, uh, focusing on the stability, on your abundance, your well-being, um, and building just a very comfortable, um, like one for all and all for one, family commitment relationship. Big dreams, big goals this person got uh, involved in you. They see a family with you, for sure. They see their future with you, no doubt. Future energies, very, very similar, very similar, almost like they're consistent. They're very consistent, I like it. I like it about them. I was quite concerned when I pulled the full in the beginning of this reading, but then the, the rest of the cards just, wow, what happened to this person? What did you do to them? While you were dating, while you were in a connection, you definitely changed their ways. Not even their ways, just change their mind, I would definitely say. You change their mind, change their goals and dreams in life. They want to be the stable figure in your life, future energies. <laughs> it's interesting because for me, I'll just elaborate a little bit. For me, the card, the Emperor in traditional tarot, especially in the Rider, Waiter, Waits Me, how is it called? The traditional deck is the card of a husband, um, the main archetype of a husband, not the king of cups, king of wands, definitely not. The emperor is a husband. And this card, in your particular case, is clarified by the card wife in a gypsy oracle deck. So <laughs> the same storyline, the same desire to make it either legal or official or just committed and to be a provider for you, especially if it's a man, to be someone you could rely on, very stable, um, almost like this father figure I'm getting from them. And they see you definitely as a life partner, someone they would ideally want to end up with, to be with, to build a family with. Powerful, it's more so, we don't have any, if you noticed, we don't have any cups in this region. So for me, this person is more so focused now on making it happen. 
rather than indulging in their emotions, feelings, and their love for you, for them it's like, no, this is it. Now I know, there's this mind clarity with the Ten of Pentacles, the Emperor. Now I know, I gotta get shit done and make this happen. Like a serious, no, no games, no jokes person. Mm. Almost like they matured somehow, you, they leveled up and took on the responsibility that... Uh, just this feeling of longevity, I want it to last, I want it to be real, I want... Yeah, almost like I can do this. With the same I'm getting this energy of someone who almost like be started to believe in themselves, themselves started to... Like, took the whole power or control in their own hands. Interesting. Let's look at your, the bottom of your deck. <laughs> you have a story with this person. That's what I was feeling. Almost like I'm, uh, um, I'm not shown the, what happened between the Fool and the Ten of Pentacles. Like, this little junk of your history is, like, it's not essential. And I'm sure there were interesting um, energies, interesting dynamics happening because they see change in this person. But I guess I'm just not meant to see it. And maybe it's a message for you to... The way it started and the way it's going, it's al almost like what was in between. There's just... I feel like there was something in between. You're not supposed to hold on to that. And the bottom deck energy here, we've got the Six of Cups. You are very similar people. There is this genuine kindness. Um, love, compassion, and just understanding of each other's needs, and again, there is this feeling of nostalgic energy, I feel like you've known each other for quite some time, you guys, with the Ten of Pentacles in the middle of your reading, for some of you, like, maybe it will resonate with one or two of you, uh, you might already be in a very stable, committed relationship, like a family, marriage, but there's definitely um, mutual, unconditional love, this feeling of this is my kindred soul. Um, I totally resonate with this person, I intuitively feel them. Hmm, I like this energy. Let's look at your Oracle cards pile too. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this. The first card we've got here is no place like home card. That's exactly, I feel like, how they feel about you. That's what they want with you. You feel like a warm home to them. You feel like someone they belong to, someone they want to grow old with, um, build this comfortable, safe heaven together. Definitely this feeling of familiarity, just this comfort. I like how it feels. Also, we've got this card, the sun. It's almost like you give life to this person, you give them happiness, you are their happiness, you are their motivations, main motivation in life, main inspiration, you, you give them this ability to be themselves completely, to express themselves in the most authentic way, to love, to, to be in joy, in bliss, wonderful energy. Now you guys. We've got this card, Deception, and it says someone is wearing a false self-mask in this relationship. This is interesting because I don't feel like this is the case with your person. I want to clarify this card for just a second to see. Which deck? Let's use this one. What is this Deception card about for pile 2? I'm not doubting this person's intentions, what I was saying previously, that they want a family with you, they want a future with you, is the real deal for them. They see a, a, a partner for life in you, for sure, and they want to be the same for you. But they cannot provide you that just yet, I feel like. 
uh, they, they hung up on something. Maybe they, they, they have troubles with their work. Maybe they are not, they don't believe in themselves. Maybe they don't, don't have enough money. Maybe somehow there is this self-esteem because we've got the Emperor, the Hanged Man and the Nine of Swords. I feel like what this, this deception is about is their own fears, is their own weaknesses, is their anxiety about the future that they do not, don't want you to know about. What they want you to know about is they've got it. they got everything under control. We are good. We are headed to a beautiful place. Um, what the deception here is about is this feeling of I'm stuck. Like I, I feel like time is passing by, but um, I cannot get to this emperor archetype just yet. As much as I want to, I'm not there. And I, there is a lot of anxiety in them, a lot of um, fear, a lot of this overthinking, inability to fall asleep, I feel like, for some of them. Yeah, that's what this, that's what they're not showing you. And it might feel for you like something is behind the scenes, something doesn't feel right, doesn't add up. That's, that's the thing here. Now look at, the, let's look at the rest of the cards. And we've got first quarter moon and this card, your commitment is being tested. Absolutely, I do feel like this person is very committed to you. And um, it's almost like they, they're just hoping that you have the same commitment to them as well. That this connection is going to last. Uh, and that this can stand the test of time. Definitely a strong energy of commitment, of building, of persevering, focusing on the future. Also, we've got this card, Crown Chakra. So, yeah, it's also a very spiritual connection between the two of you. You feel each other even through distance. You know when the other one is sad, when the other one is happy. It's just somehow um, when you're in each other's lives, you feel more attuned and intuitive and just sensitive somehow. I feel like spirituality might be something that you both are into or interested in at least. We also got this card focus. I do feel definitely like another confirmation that this person is very focused on you. They want to work on this connection. It's very dear to them. It's very valuable to them. Something that they want to preserve. Something that they want to, to last. Also with this focus card, I'm getting a little bit of a Sagittarius energy of again differences in um, upbringing, so maybe physical distance for some of you, different philosophies, things like that, nationalities. And we've got this card tr transients. I think I'm pronouncing it right. I'm not sure. And it's interesting, I'm getting this feeling that this person has changed a lot as a, in the course of this connection. It's, and I, they're still changing, they're still working on themselves and uh, shifting and transforming. And I feel like you're going through the same, almost like it, it, the, it's the essence of this connection that's helping you both to become, to become better people, to change, to evolve into a better version of yourself. Let's get some more cards for you, Pile 2, from this deck. How does your person feel about you, Pile 2? How does your person feel about you? <laughs> this one just wants to come out. And we've got this card, Amethyst. And it says, transformation, certainty, confidence. <laughs> Almost like a summary of this whole energy of this person, of this reading. Transformation, similar to this transience and the change that they went through from the full to the pen Ten of Pentacles. Transformation, certainty, uh, the way I was saying, this person just knows. They know that they want a future, they know. They know that they want a future with you. They see you as their wife, husband, whatever. And uh, crystal clear, bright as day. <laughs> they know it. And then we've got this card confidence and that I feel like they need to work on a little bit here in regards to this deception and them not showing their full range of emotions, their uncertainty and fear and anxiety that's behind the curtain. But definitely very sure about you and the fact that they want you. Yeah, and look at this, at the bottom of this deck we've got this card Ganesha. 
And it says clearing away obstacles, protection, guidance. Mm, that's what they want to happen. For some help, possibly, for to get on the same page with you, because we've got this conversation card. I'm sorry, Pichinka is moving the camera. Oops. So, and the uh, Ganesha is an elephant goddess, or oh god. And elephants always bring me this feeling. I grew up in Thailand and I'm very connected to elephants. They always give me this feeling of family of stability because they're big and they're very wise and pr they protect their own that's what i'm getting from this connection as well i'm so sorry you guys my camera just died and i had to restart the whole recording but i want to get one more card for you about this person's feelings towards you how does your person feel towards your pile too got this beautiful card I'm gonna show you the art and it says balance love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it a great relationship is one that both supports and challenges it's interesting because I feel like for this person they have realized the true value of it even if you had a different difficult patches difficult like periods on your journey together this person has realized that maybe you challenge them and they like it. You push them to be better, to grow, to evolve. And that's something that they always wanted to have. That's someone that they can see building a future with. I want to look at the bottom of the deck as well. Mm. And we've got this card, look inside yourself. And it says, examine what is causing you to feel this way. Interesting. I feel like it's a very self-aware person for some reason. Even if they're not showing you the darker side of themselves, the weaker side of themselves, they're still working on the, the, their issues, they're still working on their patterns, they're still working on the things that, that they don't like in themselves. And that's something very admirable. So this is all I have for you, pal, too. I hope this reading was helpful. I hope it gave you the clarity you were looking for. And I wish you lots of happiness and lots of love for yourself and for others. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Hello, my beautiful pile number three or everybody who chose this blue heart. Let's see what are your person's feelings towards you. And we have the moon. Prison. Nine of Swords, Death, Two of Pentacles, Enemy. Oh wow, Pile 3. What is this heavy, heavy stuff? Heavy connection, difficult, very heavy, difficult situation. Very emotional, very, almost like Ah, oh, there is a lot of pain here. There is a lot of fear here. Let's start from the beginning. Very recently, in the past, with this person, I'm getting this almost depressive state about your connection. There is, I apologize for the sound. Pichinka is um, biting my tear. There is this feeling that they feel lonely. They feel stuck. They feel restricted. And they are afraid of the future they don't know what it's bringing they don't know whether there is anything good in it whether they will be happy it's almost like the future seems very uncertain and it's like they're drowning they're drowning in their worry in their anxiety in the difficult thoughts it's there is this feeling of being trapped in some kind of situation and not being able to get out due to outside um, influences circumstances or due to their own fears, limiting beliefs, whatever it is. But this person feels to me like they're in a very difficult emotional state. Mental state, for sure. So worried. So sad. What's happening currently? Hmm. Again, the same feeling of anxiety, of fear. I'm so sorry, you guys. Pichinka was moving the camera, so 
I'll continue. So their current state, how do they feel about you? A lot of anxiety is present here, a lot of sadness, a lot of overthinking, almost like guilt I'm sensing, this feeling of guilt or maybe shame or uh, remorse. That's the feeling I'm getting, remorse and not being able to change the situation. There's some sort of ending that happened here. Maybe you fell apart, maybe you broke up with them. There's this feeling of loss and inability to accept it, like constant overthinking, negative self-talk. Oh. It just feels like this person can't even catch a break, they cannot sleep, they cannot function well in, their practi in practical ways. Constantly thinking about an ending, a loss, a separation possibly. It doesn't feel comfortable at all. So far from being comfortable and exciting. Darkness. The energy feels dark to me. Quite depressed, I would say. Almost like there's this feeling for some reason of... Everything didn't... Everything went sour. Things didn't go to plan, to the way I wanted them to the way I wanted them to go. Just there's this, again, remorse and sadness and um, guilt, that crazy mixture that I'm feeling. I'm so sorry, Pichinka is destroying everything, my whole setup, so I have to um, let her know that she is not allowed, like scold her a little bit. The future energy is here, you guys. <sighs> With this two of pentacles, an enemy, I don't feel like this person is... It's almost like they're going to find an explanation for themselves, for this situation, for the connection between the two of you. That will help them get on some sort of stable ground. That will help them move on. Not even move on, but to find some sort of balance in their mind to find some kind of um, equilibrium because now they're completely uh, all, all, the emotions their mind is all over the place in the future i do see them finding an explanation to find their peace to find them almost like a distraction as well like i'll just do this and that and i'll make myself busy but also find an explanation to help them feel better and that explanation feels to me like putting making you as the one to blame because with that clarification of an enemy I don't like this it's almost like I'll take an easy route it's all their fault because they cannot bear blaming themselves that's what they are at the moment that's what they have to face and look at how many eyes just this imagery just gives me chills on this nine of swords look at this woman and how many eyes are looking uh, straight at you how spooky this is. And I feel like this is the way this person feels about your connection. Guilt. Almost like they're being watched. Like they're being blamed for something. And it's uncomfortable. It feels uncomfortable. Almost like you know that you made a mistake. You know that you're messing up. That you messed up in the past. You know that this is like a natural consequence of your actions. Or, or whatever it is that happened between the two of you. And I feel like it was a heavy ending or wrapping up here but it's almost as though it's too unbearable to sit in this energy of guilt and shame or whatever it is so they are going to find a way an easy way to blame you or somehow nitpick you or degrade you in some ways i want to clarify this for some reason i want some clarification pichinka What is this Two of Pentacles about here for Pile 3? What is this Two of Pentacles about? <laughs> it's interesting because I pulled all of my cards upside down. And I never read reversals. I'm a very traditional upright reader. 
But in this case, I feel like it was meant. It's almost like this person is turning everything upside down, this whole situation. With this two of pentacles, this woman is also standing on the top of a building, which would never happen in reality. But in this person's mind, the optimal, like, what they're going, the easy way they're going to find is turn everything upside down. So we've got the eight of wands, the two of wands, and the source. Hmm. There's something about distance here for some of you guys. I don't know why. Either distance or... I'm so sorry, you guys. Pechinka. Or you might see her. She was moving the camera again, and it's just impossible. I feel like that's her most enjoyable game <laughs> when I'm filming and she's playing with the camera. So what I was saying that I was feeling some sort of distance here, some kind of differences in upbringing, in um, nationality, in race. And I feel like you are somehow separated with this person. But to be honest, whatever mind games they will play, however they will alter their perception of things, they will always be drawn to you, they will always be yearning for you, they are very much spiritually connected to you, and they feel like you are the source of everything that is good in their life, you are the source of kindness, support, sensitivity, love, generosity, it will always be there, they know it deep inside of their heart, regardless of how much they distract themselves, how much they um, try to uh, make you the guilty one mm -mm. okay i want to look at the bottom of your deck you guys the background story for you and we've got the seven of swords oh my gosh they are a sneaky sneaky person and i don't blame you at all for leaving this connection or maybe to for choosing yourself or because i feel like they were not honest with you they were not completely straight there's just something that they were hiding something that they were keeping and i'm not necessarily saying that they are a cheetah or someone a mean person they didn't give you certainty, they didn't, were not transparent with you. There's just this feeling of caring about themselves a little bit more than caring about you. I'm so sorry, it sounds harsh, but I'm not, I don't like being wishy-washy and sugarcoating things, but I'm just, I'm just saying what I'm feeling, what I'm seeing here. And that's where the guilt comes from, that's, I'm pretty sure, that's the source of the guilt. Oh my gosh, you guys, she just wants to be present in your video today. She just wants to say hi and cheer you up if you're feeling sad. Yeah? Hmm. For some reason, Pichinka just felt like she, she was drawn to your region and she wanted to see pile 3. And say hi. Say hi to everyone. Little mischief who is interrupting all of my videos. Okay, that's enough. I'm gonna continue. And you have to go and play. Okay. So, let's look at your oracle cards. Oracle cards, you guys. Um, mm, you see, look at that. The first card we've got for you here is blessed. Yeah, this person definitely felt like you are everything that could that they could ever dream of. Um, there's so much the sense of being uh, given a gift uh, of like a compensation to them. They definitely saw your value. They definitely saw you as a beautiful human being. Um, someone so pure, someone so gentle. But there are just so many fears and things getting in the way. We also got this card, Door to Value. It could be that this person was um, more focused on money, on their career, on their job, on finding uh, some opportunities in regards to money. And it kind of got their main priority possibly for some of you. Or it was the source of their fears and that somehow affected your connection. We also have this card, 
this could be the one. And it says, you've already met the romantic partner you seek. Exactly what I was feeling. Definitely you will a huge impact on them. They felt like uh, you were their ideal partner. There is definitely, I feel like if they didn't feel this way, they wouldn't feel so distraught, so uh, desperate right now with this nine of swords and death about this whole ending, about this completion. You definitely mean the world to them. You mean so much. We also got this card, Throat Chakra. This is interesting because I feel like this person would like to communicate to you all of their fears, all of their pain, whatever it is that they're struggling with at the moment. But I don't feel like they, they are doing that. It's almost like they don't have much to say to you. That's how I'm feeling here. Yeah. Maybe the conversations between you were very fulfilling, very exciting for this person, very mind-opening as well with Astro Chakra. Then we got this card, Full Moon in Pisces, and it says Balance, Spirituality and Practicality. Interesting, because we've got a Blessed card and also Door to Value, and it's like a combination of spirituality and practical things, uh, financial issues. That could be the case here maybe like difficulties of life the circumstances of life that were making them feel imprisoned stuck were affecting this person and the way they feel about you or the way they couldn't act in this connection or the way they were sneaky whatever the case it was almost like mm, it, there's this disbalance i'm feeling oh my gosh pichinka being vicious then we got this card, Groove. With this card, I'm always getting this energy of being in this kind of sanctuary, in this um, space, like a comfortable st space, almost like a comfort zone. And for this person particularly, with the, this moon and prison, I feel like that's what they were stuck in, in the past. Mm. Couldn't make their own decisions, couldn't get out, couldn't... Um, almost like leave their comfort zone like a little scared cat <laughs> it's a strange um, metaphor but that's how I'm feeling about them and with this groove just feeling very trapped and stuck and then we've got this card earth connection yeah for sure you will always be someone who just gave them this feeling of being grounded feeling warm feeling comfortable feeling loved supported and um, almost like enriched their life. There is this wholesome energy about you, like a food for soul, not eye candy, but food for soul. And I feel like that's how they always will remember you. Someone very, very wholesome and loving. Let's get some more cards for you, pal three. Uh, how does your person feel about you? got this card intuitive communication and it says silent whispers of the heart absolutely that um, soul to soul spiritual bond I was feeling between you and them um, definitely reaching out to you if not literally then spiritually intuitively wanting to talk with you to explain things to let you know how they feel interesting very in tune with each other you are I feel like. And let's get one more card from this deck. Pile 3, how does your person feel about you? got this card I'm gonna show you the art and it says forgiveness stop focusing your energy on past events for life is too precious to waste you create your reality by what you think dream and imagine 
That's a wonderful card to see in this reading, especially with the way this person feels to me right now. Definitely very focused on their worries, on their fears, on the past, on the negativity, guilt, shame, all of those things. And um, possibly they want your forgiveness as well for whatever it is that they've done or did not do as well. Powerful message for sure. Life is too precious to waste. Let's look at the bottom of this deck. Mm, and it says, well, I'll show you the card. It says, look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. So this is all I have for you, part three. I hope this reading was helpful. I hope it gave you the clarity you were looking for. And I wish you lots of happiness and lots of love for yourself and for others. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.